Well, hail goes lamas. I'm going to tell you a story about playing with Don Henley and then meeting Stevie Nicks during a rehearsal. Um, I had been playing with Don Henley for many years, and we were supposed to do a, a charity event with um, Stevie Nicks, and so she came in, and I had to learn a few of her songs, including. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. Here, let me try that again. And she liked the fact that I was playing um, a special kind of technique where you play the bass, this is constant, and then and you play the chords on top, and so on and so forth. Anyway, she noticed that, and I guess um, not every guitar player in the world can do that. I happened to be able to do it because I had been doing it for a long time. Anyway, so I met Stevie Nicks, and um, at the end of rehearsal, I had played well, evidently, because she came up to me and said, Frank, would you like to join my band? And I said, well, of course, that would be fantastic. So she goes, we'll be in touch. And before I knew it, I got a call from the management, her management, and I was playing in her band. Um, so after uh, we were preparing for a tour and I had to learn a song that she wanted to resurrect because she hadn't been do doing it for a long time and the song was Landslide which goes and so on and so forth. I had to learn that song in one night because I went home from a Stevie Nicks rehearsal and I had the rest of the night to learn Landslide from scratch, and uh, it was not an easy feat. The next night, we were going to play for a, uh, a more kind of a warm-up audience, and among the audience members were famous people like Brooke Shields and her husband, uh, Andre Agassi, and John Five from uh, Marilyn Manson's band. There were a lot of famous people in the audience, and I had to play it perfectly, or I would have embarrassed myself, I knew that. and so. I learned it as perfect as I could, and uh, I had to learn these like tricky uh, turnarounds, like the one that goes. Uh... And here it is, like that. So on some guitar tutorial, I'll show you how to do that because that is not easy. As a matter of fact, I've never heard anyone else play it right except Lindsey Buckingham. And me. The whole lesson here is about over preparation. It's like if you do it to the point of, let's say, just nominal perfection, whatever that may mean, um, that means that you're at 100%. And when you're under so much pressure in front of all these celebrities and a big audience, you might be under tremendous pressure to be at, the, at your absolute best. When we're uh, rehearsing in, in a room by ourselves, we're uh, playing great. It's like singing in the shower. You sound great, but if you were to have to perform at an audition, you're under all that pressure, and so it shaves away some of your skill. And so you may be operating at about 60%. So I was, uh, I found myself, it was a moment of truth. I had to stand in front of all these people and play it right, and she just looked at me and said, you can do it, Frank. She kind of whispered in my ear. And uh, I just started playing the song, and it, I played it absolutely perfectly. And how I achieved that was by playing the song. I must have played it 200 times that night. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it seems like I played it about 200 times. I endeavored to be over-prepared. In other words, if it's possible to be 100 to 200 percent, 150 to 200 um, percent at capacity, you have to just work at it and work at it until you know the song so well, it becomes part of your body, uh, you know it. Uh, better than second nature, you know it's like third nature, it's just a, you're on automatic pilot and you're playing everything perfectly and um, to achieve that state you have to not only concentrate but just do the same thing over and over and over until you're almost sick of playing it and that's when you can stand up in front of cameras, famous people, celebrities, uh, friends of the artists, um, under lights and uh, under camera and, and still play perfectly. And so that's what I did. I achieved what I set out to do and that is to play the song perfectly. And um, so I was pretty proud of, my, proud of myself for doing that. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked my video. 
And if you have any comments about what you'd like to see on my channel, please send them in. And if you'd like to go on my other social media, it's listed below. Thanks. Jamata.